Now in this module, let's take a look and answer this question. What is the best approach for IT enterprise security? In the previous modules, we've looked at uh, various security um, design architectures or security overlay, and we've looked at uh, various security tools and what type of organizations utilize which tools. Um, so what is the best approach to achieve a strong uh, security enterprise posture? And the answer to this question, as we have answered before, is that the four-layer security transformation model is the only way to effectively and practically address security posture, and especially in a market in which the overall security posture of the entire industry is at a very, very fundamentally poor level and at a weak level. So the four-layer security transformation model has been tried and tested um, by uh, our organization, which is a consulting company, in all types of organizations, all sizes of organizations, and all geographies uh, of organizations. And it works uh, beautifully in, in all cases. Uh, the four-layer security transformation model is tried and tested for geographies where the overall security awareness and posture is weak, um, typically like a, pla a place like Pakistan or any other country or environment in which, or, or organization also, in which the security posture is weak. This is another view, uh, just to remind you, of the sequence of, of the security transformation model. The sequence is very important. You start from security hardening um, of all the IT assets. You move on onto vulnerability management. You move on onto security engineering, and then onto security governance. And let's take a brief look at all of these. So the security hardening, you address the security configuration of all IT assets, which security boxes won't do for you, unfortunately. So whatever, um, you know, so a good consulting company or a good security manager would try not to spend additional money of the organization, but would try to utilize or leverage the spending already done. Now, that doesn't mean that if there's a critical device like a firewall missing, you don't go ahead and buy the firewall. But, you know, there's usually, there's a, lot, there's a fair amount of investment already ha that has been done by an organization. And a good security manager tries to leverage that investment so security hardening, what you do is you tighten up the security configuration of what you already have, and the security boxes will never do that for you. Um, then you have vulnerability management, scanning to inspect all the, all the patching of the IT assets, and this is very essential. And then you have security engineering, getting more deep into the design and security architecture, and security governance is managing the entire program. So security engineering, um, this is where more serious investments may be made once layers one and two uh, have been completed satisfactorily or are being addressed. And this doesn't mean that the entire program has to be sequential. It just is a, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an articulation of the strategy and the priority and importance of all those steps in layers. So, it, so but that doesn't mean that you can't do a bit of security governance or can't have a policy because you haven't done step number one. Uh, which is the security hardening. So some things have to be done in parallel, but the major quantum, the major effort should be followed in that sequence. And then security governance, ensuring that the proper utilization as intended of uh, security devices, the return on investment um, for all the security devices and the audits of purchased devices and solutions. So when we talk about security boxes and security solutions, it's a security governance which actually will make sure that the ROI is being achieved and the intended purpose is being achieved, the intended strategy is being achieved, which was behind the purchase of those devices. And you also ensure that the configs, uh, configurations of those devices, the feature sets are as per the design and the, the standard operating procedure. Thank you.